Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Instagram play too much. Y'all, Instagram is not letting me post up the post that I was trying to post. Telling me my post can't post. My video can't post. So I don't know. I might have to read, just redo the whole thing. Let me see if it actually did it. No, it says it can't be posted. <gasps> ah! It said it. <coughs> <coughs> it said it can't be posted. Oh, that's cute. Y'all. Yeah, I can't tap on it. I'm tapping. I'm tapping. I can't do nothing. Hey, God. Elizabeth, calm down. Calm down, Elizabeth. Calm down. Calm down, Elizabeth. Okay. All right. So, good morning, everybody. Y'all, this is the life we live in right now. This is the life we live in. Social medias can't work right. Uh, Peggy Jean, I have not, um, but a recollections uh, paper. Well, okay, to be fair, I haven't touched the 2021 recollections paper, okay? I have not touched the 2021 recollections paper. So the 2021 recollections paper might be good. So whenever you're looking to uncoil something and put it on discs, you got to look at the paper quality. Are you are you trying to um, are you trying to are you going to like washi tape this and repunch it or put sticker paper on it and repunch it? Are you trying to do that? Are you trying to because if you're trying to do that, then it almost does almost doesn't matter. But. Other than that, girl, I mean, check the YouTubes. The YouTubes got the YouTubes have almost everything you need if you search right. Okay. Uh, Kim, good morning. Good morning. Lisa Y, good morning. Uh, welcome to the morning tea. Peggy Jean, Lee, uh, Angie, Sugar, welcome. Kim, welcome. Uh, who else? Uh, Lisa, I'm coming to you. Corp Diva, good morning. Joan, good morning. Desiree, good morning. Sharon, good morning. Karen and Wilson, good morning. Welcome, Variety Mix. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you actually want to cover the cover to use uh, with your own faith paper. Uh, where's the faith paper from? Is it a recollections faith paper or, or is it paper that you could cut down to fit the recollection size? Because the recollection spiral uh, is not the same size as the EC spiral. It's not the same size. Uh, Renita, good morning. Flores, good morning. Bonnie, good morning. Good morning, Bonnie. <laughs> Carrie, good morning. Melody, good morning. Bonnie's like, I didn't come in here for that. I didn't come in here for that, Tamara. Tamara, good morning. I ain't coming here for that. <laughs> <sighs> they found it in your vertebrae. You have to have a biopsy. Oh, Lord. Okay, Bonnie. You got it, Bonnie. <clears throat> um, I got you. Okay. Yes, you're on the prayer list. On the prayer list, Bonnie. I got you. <clears throat> I got you. We got you. Good morning. Elissa, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all, welcome to the morning tea. I am off to a late start today. Um, raise your hands if you felt like playing hooky today. Like, do y'all remember doing that? Like, who did you feel like playing hooky today? Um, when hubby got up off the bed, I was like, boo. Let's play hooky today. Like, let's just take the days off of everything and play hooky today. Can we play hooky today? He said that's not how it works in adult land. Okay, it don't work like that in adult adult land. 
I want to play hooky today. Good morning, Natalie. Paper is from Happy Planner uh, and 32 pound paper you'll be using to create your own. Yeah, Peggy Jean, you probably have to cut that paper down. Um, the Happy Planner paper, for sure. You can cut down to 32 pound, but you probably have to cut down the Happy Planner. So think about whether you want to do that or not. Um, take the recollections cover, put it up against the Happy Planner paper. You'll see it's a different size. Those, those are different. I mean, you could do it. You could do it. You're just going to have to be okay with how it looks like when you're done. Yeah, just got to do that as well. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. So I see a lot of people want to play hooky with me today. Sugar want to play hooky with me today. Yes, yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> things to buy will be negative. Yes. Yes. We, that's, that's, that's the outcome we're going to pray for Melanie A negative outcome as well. So it'll be good. It'll be good. Negative outcome all the way around for everybody, all the way around for all those who need it. Tanya, welcome. Good morning, Tanya M. You started dreaming. You had called in for a sick day, but you're not killing me. <laughs> And since Shar and Larissa is not here, we can talk about the day off. Like, we can talk about the day off. We can take a day off. We can vote on a day off while they're not here, as a matter of fact. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a day next next week. I'm a, uh, Yeah, I'm going to take a day next week, y'all, because I, I, need, I need it. I really do. I really do. I just didn't want to welch on y'all today, but I am going to take a day next week. Um, let me turn this down a little bit more. Yeah, I am going to take a day next week because... Woo, I need to get my mind together. Um, right, exactly, exactly, exactly. I might need one to two days depending on how situations work out, depending on how things work out for next week. So um, let's say a quick prayer um, to get started in. Um, and then I'm going to, you know, update y'all just a little bit. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. Once again, oh God, we give you glory. We give you glory, oh God, for waking us up this morning for opening up our eyes, oh God, and for giving us so many blessings before we even got a chance to say good morning to you, before we even got a chance to register the whole situation that's happening in our lives. Just as, as soon as we open up our eyes, oh God, we had so many blessings already poured out on us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for that. We ask this morning, Father God, that from the last time that we ask for forgiveness until right now, any sin that we may have committed, cleanse us of them. Wash us clean, oh God. Uh, make us white as snow. Heavenly Father, we come this morning um, giving you uh, uh, praises, praising you for your intervention in the many different medical and health related cases that we have going on. We thank you, O oh God, for giving negative outcomes uh, and results to biopsies. And we thank you, Father God, for making operations successful. And we thank you, O oh God, for making recovery easier, for making recovery quicker, for making recovery, Heavenly Father, 100 percent full and complete um, because you are a God of fullness. You're a God of completion, Father Lord. And we thank you for that, oh God. And so this morning we come praising you for those things and laying at your feet, your children. We just lay at your feet morning, noon and night, oh God, because that is the best place for us to be. It is there that we will find everything we need that we'll be able to be covered and protected as well. And so Father Lord, um, let all the things that we speak today, all the things that we think today, all the things that we do today, Father Lord, give you glory and honor and not um, to glorify ourselves, but only to you because you're the only one who deserve it in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Lola, Linda, good morning. Welcome into the morning tea. Melly, if I didn't say good morning, good morning. Welcome to the morning tea. So, yes, I will be taking either one or two days um, uh, next week depending on how things work out with my brother and situations with my brother. So, um, uh, you know, God is completely showing up. It's like, you know, you take a, a step forward and then it's like a step backwards, two step forward and then a step backwards. But either which ways it goes, we, we, we've just had some really anxious, anxiety ridden moments and times. 
um, beautiful life will come in. But I'm telling you right now, God is a deliverer. He is a healer. He is a miracle worker. And we see modern day miracles happening in front of our eyes. But because we trust so much in modern medicine, we don't understand that it's a miracle that we're seeing. And so um, <laughs> I just want to give God glory. I mean, I want to give God glory this morning. My brother is doing um, better. Um, they were able to take him off the ventilator yesterday. So he is breathing on his own, y'all. Um, and today I'm going, we, you know, video chat with him just for a short while yesterday and a short, he was awake all night. Um, and so video chat with him this morning, um, 5 a.m. This dude is, is WhatsApping people like you back. Cause you, you what, what you, you know, horse and raspy talking, but, but Lord, God is good. And so um, um, a little later, he went to get some sleep. So a little bit later, we're going to be able to, uh, I'm, I'm going to call him again um, to be able to talk to him and just, you know, see how, how, how he's doing. He's, he's coming back. He's coming back to being himself. And I know it's going to take a moment um, uh, as well, but, you know, we got certain other situations that's going on and um, so we got to work it out because he may need to be here with me for, um, a little while. Um, and then, you know, we just got to work some things out. We just got to work some things out. So depending on what, you know, happens today, then we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Okay. But his, he's doing so, so, so much better. I mean, y'all, I mean, he just went in for as for breathing treatment for his asthma and, a, 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 a I mean, when I when I have an opportunity to explain the whole situation to y'all, y'all going to be like, that's insane. It's one of those things that like, that's insane. Like, you know, somebody's like, I went into the hospital, you know, just for, uh, you know, cut on my finger and I came out pregnant. <laughs> it's just insane. It is just insane. And so that happened and i mean the enemy is super busy y'all super busy because while i was messaging one of my sisters last night uh while i was messaging one of my sisters last night a cousin ended up calling her she just she had gotten just gotten into a car accident and she's pregnant the car is total so she was on her way to the er i mean it it's just been insane it's been insane for the past week Woo! That's how she found out she had, um, like she, see, so Joan, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So we're going to have to talk about this one of these days when um, I'm, I'm, you know, more able to, to talk about it and get some more details. Cause I need some more details. I need some more details, but praise God from whom all blessings flow. He is so good. He is so good. Mm. What does the song say? I will sing of your love forever. Oh, I will sing of your love forever, Lord, because he loves me. He loves me. I don't know if y'all know for a fact whether God loves y'all or not. I don't know if you know, but I know, I know that he loves me. I know that he loves me. He loves me to the point of giving me a close parking spot when I need it the most. Other times he said, girl, you need to walk. You need to walk. You need to exercise. So park far and walk. But when I need it the most, when he knows I am totally drained and can't really do it anymore, he gives me a close parking spot. OK, so I know he loves me. I know that he loves me so much more than I deserve, so much more than I deserve. And even though I don't deserve it, y'all, let me just tell you, one of the things that God has taught me this year, my daughter, even though you feel you don't deserve my love, even though you don't feel like you deserve the things that I do for you and, and, and teach you and through you and the patience I have for you, walk in it. Even though you don't feel like you deserve it, walk in it, walk in it walk in it. Oh my goodness. Um, the nebulizer wasn't working. Um, Angie, Angie, his nebulizer wasn't working. That's why he ended up there. Like he's, he's, he's had asthma all his life, all his life, you know? And so he knows how to maintain it. He knows how to manage it. Um, but this could, this was different. This hit different. It's very rare when he has to go, 
and 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 be put you know on a, on a treatment and get treatments there and 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 it was different it was different it was different so yeah you played hooky yesterday flores yes <laughs> but yeah god has taught me to walk into it even though i don't deserve it i'm claiming it and i'm walking in the forgiveness i'm walking in the salvation that god has that has given to me that he's offered to me. I'm I'm walking in it. I don't deserve it. I know I don't. And I don't care who remind you want to remind me. That's your business. That's your business. I'm not going to walk around in shame because I'm not perfect because I make mistakes. God said I don't have to. God said I do not have to. He, he does he said I don't have to as long as I am working on amending my wicked ways. That's what he said, right? As long as I'm working on amending my wicked ways, and you know we got plenty of those, y'all. We got plenty of those. You know, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not walking around in shame for it. I'm not walking around in shame for it. I am claiming his love. I'm claiming his blessings. I'm claiming that salvation. I'm claim I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Oh my gosh, I have been bought and paid for with a price. By the only, oh my goodness, y'all. So we're going to walk in that. We're going to walk that out. We're going to walk, we're going to walk in that. I'm walking in that. And so sometimes like people won't understand it sometimes. People won't understand it sometimes. They're like, oh, you think you, no, I don't think I'm this. But what God's word has told me, what his word has told me is this. And if I'm if I'm living by his word, if I'm living by his word, then I'm I'm not about to be he 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 never said be shy about the fact that I've redeemed you. Remember we talked about yesterday that if you never talk to anybody about the fact that you know me, people tired of me probably tired of me praying with them and for them. <laughs> They're probably tired of it. Every time you turn around, this girl here want to pray and I'm telling you to pray. Yes, I'm gonna tell you to do that. Communicate with God. Come on. Yes, thank you very much, Peggy Jean. I appreciate that. Watching the Amen, Larissa. Yes, yes. No, I don't have time for that. I make mistakes, and I'm not perfect, right? And He's teaching me every single every single day. He's teaching me that my 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 view of things, the lens that I view things in, is skewed and flawed. So I have to be careful on how I I I, I, I judge things. I got to be careful on how I ascertain things right because sometimes we hold on to 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 feelings to thoughts to perceptions we we hold on to what we believe is right when it's not god is like boo it's still skewed it's still it's it's skewed it's still skewed it's skewed you got to see it my way my way is the only way that's the truth god's way is the only way that's the truth it's not not my way because he said there's a way that seems right to a man that leads to destruction he said, our righteousness is as filthy rags. If our righteousness is as filthy rags, wh what would my my thoughts and my contemplations be? Like, girl, behave yourself. Like, y'all, y'all, I cannot even imagine how God laughs at us sometimes. He's like, y'all can't even decide if milk is good for you. <laughs> If milk is good for them, they can't decide if egg is good for them. They got to go through all the scientific experiment just to prove that. Look, he must be tapped. Look, God is tapping Jesus. Jesus, look, they think the earth is flat. <laughs> God is like, look, look, it took them. It took them 150 years just to figure out how to put somebody on the moon. <laughs> yo, yo, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. We are some, we are cockroaches. We are cockroaches in the master plan. And we are up in here thinking that we are the eagle. <laughs> You're like, look at these rugrats. Look at these rugrats. Just get the popcorn. Get the popcorn. Okay. Look, look at these rugrats. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? Tell them 150 years. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Y'all. Y'all, sometimes when I think of how the things that we do <laughs> that we think are so ginormous, 
is so small compared to the greatness of our God, the creator who in seven, well, six days, who in six days created the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that in them is and rested on the seventh day. Let me tell you something. When I think, when I think about that, how many years does it take a y'all? How long does it take us to create a proper planner spread? <laughs> We can't even decide on which stickers to use and which washi tape to use. God is like, I cannot with these kids. He's like, I can. <laughs> I can't with these kids. I can't with these kids. They can't even make a decision on what sticker to put in their planner. Oh my gosh. How am I going to trust these kids with bigger responsibility if I can't even trust them to pick a sticker? <laughs> Yo, I'm so glad for this collaboration because God is like, they can't even make a choice and stick to it. <laughs> Y'all, we are so pitiful. We are so pitiful. I can't. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. We are so pitiful. And yet still, we are puffing ourselves up and thinking we something. We something. Y'all, I can't. I can't this morning. I can't with us this morning. Uh, I can't. <clears throat> I can't. Decompress, boo. Decompress. Decompress. Just decompress. Turn the hydraulics off. Turn the hydraulics off and come back down to street level. <laughs> Turn the hydraulics off and come back down to street level. <laughs> Mm. Oh my goodness. Yes, Belinda. Belinda, when I think of how foolish we are, how foolish we are, how, I mean, we're utterly foolish. And yet still, God's grace, oh, he is so gracious to even in our foolishness to give us levels of intellect, right? Levels of intellect that only with his wisdom can we manage right. Only with his wisdom can we manage right. And we think because we have this intellect, we doing something. We doing something. We doing something. Oh, my goodness. Lord. Oh, you know, when like the Lord showed, let, God, God, like, let, come, come stand in front of the mirror. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Come stand in front of the mirror. I have to laugh at myself, y'all. I, I laugh at me. Tamara laughs at Tamara all the time. Because Tamara just, you know, Tamara thinks she knows better sometimes. Tamara thinks she knows better. Oh. Mm. Tamara thinks she knows better. Like, Tamara knows her stuff. She's proficient. She's an expert. Whatever. <laughs> Tamara's a cockroach. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Or should we just say, you just a roach, girl. You, you just a roach. You, you's a teenager. You's them teenage roaches. You ain't even, you ain't even my matured roach. You a teenage roach. Y'all, I can't. Or maybe we just water bugs. <laughs> maybe we just water bugs. We don't even know what we are. Oh, Lord, help us. We are confused individuals and we are nothing without you. We can do nothing without you, oh, Lord. Oh. So this morning's video, Amanda's favorites, y'all, it's not premiering this morning. It is just going to be posting for the collab so we have a little bit of time this morning. Um, we're going to jump on into the reading because we just we just got out of hand this morning. Y'all out of hand. Y'all got out of hand this morning. Out of hand already. Already. I don't know why y'all. Y'all just got out of hand. OK, so we we're definitely delayed. Um, uh, the, today with our reading. So he has held you. Yes, Belinda. <laughs> Poured out on me abundantly along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Larissa, for the scriptures. Definitely appreciate them all. Definitely appreciate them all. So we're going to jump into the reading. This week, we, month, this week, we're talking about work. We're plan of brats this morning. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we're talking about work. Really, we're just talking about work, right? And there's a couple readings that, that are really good, but I'm going to go to today's reading, which is work and, no, it's work and stewardship. Um, you have 
you know, you know what? It is something that God has taught me. It is, it is, it is something He's taught me. I've asked, I've asked, and He's teaching me. He's teaching me. He is teaching me. He is teaching me. And so, um, I live in a state of being taught, which is which is a rough state for me. I will admit that because y'all know I got the stubbornness that I'm, I'm working on. I'm working on. I'm Jesus, Jesus is working on it. Mm, mm, mm. But I got that stubbornness that I'm working on, right? But it's something that he's teaching me. It's, it's he's teaching me. I'm asking and he's teaching. Thank you, Larissa. I do appreciate that. Let me pin that while we have it. Uh, pin message. All right. So work and stewardship. It says whatever your hands find to do, do it with your might. And that's taken from Ecclesiastics 9 verse 10. That's the New King James version of it. It says the wisest man, the wisest of men uses these words and counsel regarding stewardship in every aspect of life. Stewardship in every aspect of life. So we are talking about, and let me just, while the thought is in my head and, 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 um, uh, and it's coming to me, we're talking about the different areas of our life, right? We're talking about goals. We're talking about things that we want to do in each area of our lives, right? Things that we want to maintain, things that we want to um, make progress on, right? Things that we want to really and truly stretch ourselves and achieve. What I want you all to do is to use a, a, a question that I heard on a Darren Hardy. Um, and sometimes I hear questions or I hear things and I write it down, but I put my own little spin on it sometimes as well. So when you're thinking of each area of your life, I want you to ask, what is God's best for me in this area? Or what is God's best of me in this area, right? For me and off me is two different things. So you can ask yourself those things because you want to know what is the best that I can do in this area and what is the best that I can become in this area, right? So what is the best that I can do and what is the best that I can become in this area? Um, and we, okay, Larissa, thank you. We have to make sure that we're asking these questions or else we are not really having something that we, a vision that we need to strive for in order to attach that goal to, or that dream to, because sometimes you have a goal, but the goal that you want to reach is not what's best for you in that area. The goal you want to reach is not what's best for you in that area. So sometimes when you get to the goal, you're like, oh, I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. Right. So um, that is another one. Yes, that's a, that that's pretty much the overall one. Um, so but instead of saying, like, what is my divine purpose? What is God's best for me in this area? What is God's best of me in this area? It's about who you become. It's about who you come. The process is, is it's, it's about who you become. You're going through the process to become someone or something else, right? That's what it is. Change is change. So we got to access uh, ourselves that question. So as you go through your 2021 goal planning, or if you're not even goal planning, as you go to your 2021 things that you want to do, what is God's best for me in this area? What is God's best of me in this area? Um, okay. So I hope that makes sense. Thank you for posting the question though, Karen. Um, I, I appreciate that. Um, when asked to come to comment on Christian stewardship, many confined their thoughts to the Christian's fiscal responsibility, meaning of your tithe and a faithful offering. Although money is certainly an important aspect of stewardship, to limit it to money alone is much too narrow. In organizational theory, stewardship refers to management's responsibility to develop and utilize properly all available resources. Okay, I'm going to read that again. In organizational theory, stewardship refers to management's responsibility to develop and utilize properly all available resources. 
in the church, what resources, what are the resources which God, God has blessed us with, right? Peter clearly states that every person has been at, has gifts endowed by the creator. And he refers to such endowed Christians as a holy priesthood. First Peter 2, 5. And I'm going to read that for you. It says, you also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. So uh, a holy priesthood with responsibility to God for their stewardship of all of God's gifts. Now, I'm going to um, uh, to uh, read what God's gifts are. Well, some of them money is one. Right. Time is another one. Energy is another one. Your talent is another one. And then there's other things as well that could be included in that. Um, one of the most, one of the common pitfalls of life today is the tendency to compartmentalize the different aspects of living. There is one's work life, one's family life, one's spiritual life, and even one's leisure life. The tendency to separate these areas of life so there is little or no crossover between and among them is to be desired in some instances. For example, it is not good to bring home one's work so that it interferes with family responsibilities. Neither should the pursuit of uh, leisure curtail the time we spend with God. Oh. Oh, hold on. Let me read that. Neither should the pursuit of leisure curtail the time we spend with God. Oh, Cindy, good morning, baby. How are you? However, such restrictions should not apply to the role our spiritual life must play in all of our existence. The Christian's work grows out of fellowship and work with God. Work is one way by which we can practice the presence of God. To compartmentalize our religious life, to limit God to, to one day, one hour, or even just one area of living is to reject the very presence of God in the, those other areas. Somebody drop the mic or, you know, fire, burn it up, burn up, burn up the place, fire. I'm going to read that part again. To compartmentalize our religious life, to limit God to one day, one hour, or even just one area of living is to reject the very presence of God in these other areas. Mm -hmm. Two questions. Two questions, it says. First, ask yourself if you do indeed compartmentalize your spiritual life. Second. If you do, how can you learn to let spirituality reign in all that you do? Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Belinda said, I'm going to give you a purple cross. Boom. I'll take it. Um, and then I'll read additional readings quickly. So those are the two quest, um, questions and additional readings really quickly. Bel uh, who is it? Peggy Jean. I'm drinking peppermint tea today. Peppermint tea today, girl. God desires that his workers in every line should look to him as the giver of all they possess. All right inventions and improvements have their source in him who is wonderful in counsel and excellent in working. The skillful touch of the physician's hand, his power over nerve and muscle, his knowledge of the delicate organism of the body is the wisdom of divine power to be used in behalf of the suffering. The skill with which the carpenter uses the hammer, the strength with which the blacksmith makes the anvil ring comes from God. 
He has entrusted men with talents and he expects them to look to him for counsel. Whatever we do in whatever department of the work we are placed, he desires to control our minds that we may do perfect work. Ooh, we, ooh, ooh, we. Yes, work is a blessing, not a curse. A spirit of indolence destroys godliness. I'm sorry, yeah, and grieves the spirit of God. A stagnant pool is offensive, but a pure flowing stream spreads health and gladness over the land. Paul knew that those who neglect physical work soon become enfeebled. He desired to teach young ministers that by working with their hands, by bringing into exist to exercise the, their muscles and sinews, they would become strong to endure the toils and privations that await them in the gospel field. And he realized that his own teachings would lack vitality and force if he did not keep all parts of the system properly exercised. Good morning, Sarah. How are you doing? Yeah, that is, that is, Sarah, isn't that a nugget? That's a big chunk of nugget. That's a big chunk of nugget. A great lesson is learned when we understand our relation to God and his relation to us. The words, know ye not, ye are not your own. What? For ye are brought with a price should be hung in memory's hall that we may ever recognize God's right to our talents. Oh, snap. Our property. Oh, snap, snap. Our influence. Woo, child. Our individual selves. We are to learn how to treat this gift of God in mind, in soul, in body, that as Christ's purchased possession, we may do him healthily save or, which is pleasing service. We may do him healthy, healthful, and pleasing service. Woo! We are to learn how to treat this gift of God in our mind, our soul, in our bodies, that as Christ purchased possession, we may do him healthy, full, and pleasing service. Y'all, lots and lots of good tips today. Lots and lots of good tips today. Lots and lots of good tips today. We are his. We are bought with a price. And so therefore, mm, everything that we have belongs to him. Oh my goodness. Everything we have belongs to him. I love it. Let me see. I'm, I'm highlighting something here, y'all, because I'll make sure I highlight that and write that down. Whew. Got, we got to recognize God's right to our talents, our property, our influence, our individual selves. Mmm. Mmm. That, 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 that there was a word. Recognize God's right to our talents, our property, our influence, our individual selves. Do we recognize God's right? That is some food for thought, y'all. Do we truly recognize God's right to those things? Because if we did... Ooh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, you, yeah, you missed, you missed it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this for you, Elizabeth. I'm gonna read this for you. Um, hold on. Where's the one? Hold on. That one, but I want to read this other, the other one to you. I'm highlighting it as well. So good morning, Jarena. How are you? Elizabeth. 
the words, know ye not that ye are not your own, for ye are brought with a price, should be hung in the memory's hall, that we may ever recognize God's right to our talents, our properties, our influence, our individual selves. Mm. That's one for you today. And another one for you is to compare. We're talking about compartmentalizing your life. You, when you compartment work life, fun life, family life, it says to compartmentalize our religious life, to limit God to one day, one hour, or even just one area of living is to reject the very presence of God in these other areas. Blow it up. Blow it up. And then the two questions for the day is first, ask yourself if you do indeed compartmentalize your spiritual life. Secondly, if you do, how can you learn to let spirituality reign in all that you do? I'm going to leave that alone. We ain't going to talk about that no more. No more. I'm just going to leave that alone right now because that's the whole word that needs to be digested. You know, like when you go out to the buffet places. And you are determined to eat your buffet money's worth and you overindulge. I'm, I'm full. I'm full. I'm full. I'm full. Mm. Beth, good morning. How are you? Misha, good morning. Welcome. Mm, I'm full. I'm, mm -mm, I'm full. We're going to leave it to the sidelines. I'm full. Mm. Next. <laughs> some deep one today y'all the all in all yes a friend of yours sang that song which is one of your favorites oh my goodness that that that's a full belly today that's a full belly today that's a full belly today y'all that's a full belly today so that was a good thing so what is on tap for today what is on tap for those who came in late the collaboration video for today is going to be over on amanda's favorites she is not premiering. She is just going to be posting her video. So her video um, may not be up yet. Let me double check over on this side. No, we don't want to click on. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, go up here. Um, let me check on that really quickly to see if it's actually posted already or if it's going to probably post at that time. Okay, I don't think I see it yet. Yeah, I don't see it yet. So it will probably be posted around that time, around the 930 time or sometime today as well. So um, we'll you can watch it afterwards. Uh, about 930, we'll go over there, see if it's live or I'll look over there, see if it's live or fresh. Um, and let you know. But if not, it will be posting sometime throughout the day. Sometimes, too, y'all, just, you know, be patient with the collapse. Sometimes Planet Babes are on different Planet Babes are on different time zones. And so it be getting confused. They be, it, we be getting confused because sometimes we forget that people are on different time zones. So when we say a time, we expect it to them to know that it's not their time, that we're on, 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 on a different time. We're on the same time. Like, it's like, where was that not? We're not. We're not. Y'all, let me delete this message right quick. Why is the Happy Planner sending me emails? Happy Planner sending me emails. <laughs> Woo! So I need to make a list of things that I would like to get done today because I need like a whole two weeks to catch up for the past two weeks. I need a whole two weeks to catch up for the past two weeks. Like things have been not being done. I need two weeks to catch up for the past two weeks. It's insane. Um, it's insane. It's insane. I need to get my time back under management. However, um, all the links are in my first video. Yes, all the links are in my first vi video, Mel Melanie. However, it is December. It is December. And in the state of Georgia... I don't know if anyone else on here lives in Georgia, but in the state of Georgia, we take December off. <laughs> ah! <laughs> right, 
right, Sarah. We're gonna go back to go back to bed for the next two hours. In December, we take December off. Like we just, you know, straight up tell the bosses, look, we going home early. For this month, we going home early. And I may call out a day, like I think we really should just close down a week before the week before Christmas. And we ain't coming back till the new year. Like we are not functioning back regular till the new year. Right, right, Melanie? We don't. We don't. And when people come out, like when we got to serve people, like if we're working and it's, it's business, we're going to be like, why are you people here? Like, it's December. Stop trying to do things. It's December. We off. We off. The, the month of December, like once Thanksgiving hits, it's super slow. It's super slow-mo. It's super slow. The only thing, the only thing that ramps up in this is no by thing after Thanksgiving in December is you mailing your packages. You mail and prepare for a little bit of attitude when you go to mail your packages because first of all y'all should have done this already. Like I don't even know why y'all stressing us out. It's December. It's December. Why are you people here? It's December. Order your stuff online and let it be delivered to them. Stop coming in here trying to mail your packages. It's December. <laughs> Corp Diva, Corp Diva, you better recognize how slow everything's about to get. You better recognize it's December. It's December. Maybe also it's because I live in the bushes. I live in the bushes. So in the bushes, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. We just slow it down. That's all. It's, it's already usually slow, but mm -mm, we super slow now. We super slow. Um, laundry outside. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Jarena. Like, you know, uh, in PR, the break is not over until January 6th. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh my goodness, we should do that too. We should do that too. Yeah, it'll be after New Year. It'll be after New Year. Like after New Year, then you can say like the second week, you know, the second week of January, okay? Second week of January. Then we're going to treat that like the first week of January. So really and truly in goal getting, we only got three weeks in January. Miss Ray to roll for a 24-7 health system. Melanie, yes. Mm -mm. Corp Diva, that's 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 your problem right there. You in Metro. That's your problem. You better move to the bushes, girl. Come to the bushes, Corp Diva. Come to the bushes. The bushes are great. I mean, you know, you got to have some uh, Thunderdome with the squirrels, but... <laughs> Thunderdome with the squirrels. Like my neighbors, I, I got new neighbors. So uh, my neighbor was out there burning the leaves in the front yard. They're raking it up. I'm looking at them like, y'all go ahead, rake that up. I, I, one of them, I said, I said, you, you gonna rake that up? I said, you see the trees? You see how much leaves are still on this tree? I said, in about a week, it's gonna look the same way again. I said, just wait another week. Just wait another week. She went ahead and they started, they was raking it up. I said, no problem. I understand the excitement of having, you know, your, your home and stuff. Gone ahead. No, I'm not raking nothing for another one to two weeks. It may not even get raked up until January. Mm-mm. Irene, good morning, honey. It'll be January. All these leaves, I'm going to rake it two, three times. No, it's too cold out there for that. It's too cold out there for that. It's too cold out there for that, right? Um, so that's pretty much it. Today I need to make a little, I need to actually do a little bit of shopping. I need to do a little bit of shopping, but that all depends on, uh, well, no, it doesn't depend on that, but I need to, to do a little bit of shopping. I meant to do some more shopping if my brother's going to be here with me, but um, I need to do a little bit of shopping. I need to see what is at new at Publix. I need to make a Kroger run. I've got to go to the P.O. box, y'all. I've got some happy mail that I got to um, probably share. 
uh, as well. I did receive one that I need to make somebody know I received and I got to pack up a few things to ship to send out uh, as well. It's on the counter. I started and then my son was like, oh, I'm off early. So then I had to go get him instead of letting him wait. So I have not been to the post office, to the mailbox because, you know, we don't mm, we ain't trying to do that as well. I have an order that I need to pick up at Walgreens. Y'all, if y'all have not, no, if, if y'all not have been doing Wal, Walgreens order online and pick up in store, y'all missing, y'all missing, I mean, not really pick up in store, curbside pickup, y'all, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, goes on and on and on, good thing that you like your job, yes, yes, yeah, so I got a, a good amount of things to do today, I, I need another day, like, it can't be Thursday already. It just can't be Thursday already. It can't be Thursday already. It can't be Thursday already. It can't be Thursday already. But it is. And then outside is so deceitful. It's so deceitful. It looks like such a nice, bright, beautiful spring day outside. But it's cold out there. It's deceitful. It's cold out there. It's cold out there. But I'm going to go out there anyway because, you know, that that's just what has to happen. That's what has to happen. I've got we got to go out there. So I've got to dress warm and go out there. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, Fl Flores. I wouldn't rake it either. I wouldn't rake it either. The only thing I would probably do is try to mulch it just to make it finer. Maybe I don't know even 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 know if that would even be. Uh, uh, worth it. Shut down for at least a whole week, Joan. Oh my goodness. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Yes. So next week, um, I've got to decide which day I will definitely be taking, like I said, one, maybe two, depending on what happens, uh, take days off next week. We've got to see how next week is, is going to, is going to work out because, you know, I don't know. We'll see how things are going to, going to be. So I'll keep y'all posted. I will keep y'all posted, but we got to get an early move on today. So the first thing I'm going to do when I get off this live is I'm actually going to make myself a list. And I do have my a little half sheet. I've got a half sheet right here that I, you know, wrote one thing on so far. <laughs> but I'm going to make my list of the things that I want to get accomplished this morning, like the things that I really need to do, and then I'm going to start doing them because the I'm not that focused. I'm not that focused this week. Remotely. Yes, Kim. So I've got to focus um, and then check in with everybody in a little while. But y'all, please remember to um, go to my main video. I will work on linking. I will work on linking the videos. For those of you, when you go to my first video and you click on the link to go to the channel, do you find the actual um, video pretty easily? the collab video do you find it pretty easily because what i think i'm going to work on probably work on this morning is to update video links you have the next four fridays off maybe that's what i should do miss washington is take the next four fridays off All right, Joan, have a good one. You couldn't find yesterday's collab video? Okay, it's easy to find. Okay, but what I'll do is um, I'll go, I'll still go ahead and I'll just, I'll replace the links. So it will be the link to that particular video playlist. And or, and or I might just do a playlist. I might just do a playlist. I'm going to see which one is going to be the better option. Leave it as is in the video. So at least the channel itself is there. And then the next one, I probably might do a playlist and link it in my original video if I can do that. 
We'll see how that works out. Yeah, maybe I should really take the next four Fridays off. Like, y'all, we off on Fridays. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm sleeping in all day. Sleeping in all day, the whole day. But okay, y'all, let us wrap up um, as well. Remember, Amanda's favorites is today. Uh, we'll also remember that, you know, her, her um, timing is off. Like, she's like two hours. So... So maybe that's um, the case. I will try my best to, you know, be sure to let us know who's premiering and who's not premiering so that throughout the day you could go ahead and just watch the video that is posted um, as well. Okay, donkey, everybody, any more questions before we go ahead and close out, y'all? Because I need to I need to get my mind together. Uh, you're off until January 11th. Blackwell! You mean like you're off from like now until January 11th? Uh, right, Larissa. So, yeah, we'll see about it, too, because uh, hubby has to confirm whether we're going to be going out of town, too. Um, he's got to look at that. So, y'all, too many things to plan in this short space of time. All right, I'm refreshing over here to see if um, the video pops up because y'all know. And I don't see it. Okay. Yeah, I don't see it. It's up now? Okay. Okay, you got to use it or lose it, leave. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why people have so much. In 2020, you were hard. I need at least a week. She said, I need at least a week. Yeah. I agree with that. <laughs> wait, wait. Y'all give me a whole week off. I may not want to come back. <laughs> y'all give me a whole week off, and Tamara may not want to come back. So y'all better be careful. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be like what happened to Tamara man we gave her a week off and we cannot find her anymore so, uh, but it's already December <laughs> like where time at y'all we don't know like we, we we've been sending APBs out this girl don't want to come back <laughs> <sighs> All right, y'all. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and go watch um, this video. Marry one in 2020. Yes. So let's go ahead and watch Amanda's video. Um, and then we'll chit chat about it uh, uh, probably tomorrow um, as well. I can't leave y'all Blackwell. Blackwell is like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. All right, y'all. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Um, right, Larissa, I'll see y'all tomorrow on the morning tea. Continue to be prayerful, continue to praise, um, uh, you know, and, and, and give thanks to God as well. Continue to uh, remember to, to pray for um, Diamond and her family, um, as well as all of our planner babes. Remember the prayer list that is inside of the uh, Facebook group. Be sure to um, pray for them as well. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all. You wouldn't abandon your wayward children. <laughs> my planner brats. <laughs> my planner brats. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to find y'all, find y'all a, a foster mom. <laughs> find y'all a foster mom, some substitute mom, and I'm taking off. <laughs> All right, y'all. Be blessed and be a blessing. See y'all later. Bye.